Welcome to HVAC exam practice test, our topic today is refrigerants, use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store and Google Play for free practice tests. 1. What is the primary function of a refrigerant in an HVAC system? A. To generate heat for the home. B. To remove heat from a space or substance. C. To filter air impurities. D. To circulate moisture. The correct answer is B. To remove heat from a space or substance. Explanation A refrigerant absorbs heat in one area and releases it in another, enabling cooling in HVAC systems. 2. Which of the following is not a desirable property of a good refrigerant? A. Low boiling point. B. Highly toxic nature. C. High latent heat value. D. Non corrosive to metal. The correct answer is B. Highly toxic nature. Explanation A good refrigerant should be safe and non toxic to avoid health hazards. 3. What is the main purpose of Class 1 refrigerants? A. To be used in absorption type refrigeration systems. B. To be used in standard compression refrigeration systems. C. To be used in fire suppression systems. D. To be used as intermediate cooling agents. The correct answer is, B, to be used in standard compression refrigeration systems. Explanation Class 1 refrigerants extract latent heat and are commonly used in traditional compression-based refrigeration systems. 4. Why is sulfur dioxide, SO2, not considered a safe refrigerant? A. It is highly flammable. B. It is non-toxic but expensive. C. It is toxic and corrosive to metal. D. It requires a special compressor. The correct answer is, C. It is toxic and corrosive to metal. Explanation. Sulfur dioxide can produce sulfuric acids, which corrode metal and pose a health hazard. 5. Which refrigerant is commonly used in large industrial plants? A. Freon, 12. B. R134A. C. Ammonia, NH3. D. R22. The correct answer is C. Ammonia, NH3. Explanation. Ammonia is frequently used in large industrial refrigeration systems due to its high latent heat and efficiency. 6. What is a major disadvantage of using carbon dioxide, CO2, as a refrigerant? A. It is highly toxic. B. It requires extremely high pressure for operation. C. It is highly flammable. D. It reacts violently with Freon refrigerants. The correct answer is, B, it requires extremely high pressure for operation. Explanation, carbon dioxide requires pressures over 300 psi for proper operation, making it inefficient compared to other refrigerants. 7. Why is R22 being phased out? A. It is highly flammable. B. It is too expensive to manufacture. C. It contributes to ozone depletion. D. It does not work in modern HVAC systems. The correct answer is, C. It contributes to ozone depletion. Explanation R22 is an HCFC, which damages the ozone layer, 
leading to its gradual phase-out under environmental regulations. 8. What is the main advantage of Freon refrigerants over older refrigerants like ammonia? A. They are more toxic. B. They are non-flammable and safer to use. C. They have a lower cooling capacity. D. They require higher operating pressures. The correct answer is, B, they are non-flammable and safer to use. Explanation, Freon refrigerants are widely used because they are non-toxic and do not pose a fire hazard. 9. Which refrigerant is currently being introduced as an alternative to R-22? A, R-717. B, R-410A. C, R-134A. D. R. 11. The correct answer is, B. R. 410A. Explanation, R. 410A is an environmentally friendly refrigerant that does not deplete the ozone layer and is commonly used in new HVAC systems. 10. How do refrigerants like Freon affect the environment when released into the atmosphere? A. They improve air quality. B. They reduce greenhouse gas emissions. C. They contribute to ozone depletion and global warming. D. They have no environmental impact. The correct answer is, C. They contribute to ozone depletion and global warming. Explanation Older Freon refrigerants contain chlorine, which breaks down ozone molecules and contributes to global warming. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.